Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Tales of Tenorio. This is a game I got asked to play quite a lot. It's a brand new creature taming game made through Roblox, which I've never actually played before. It's like my first Roblox game, but I watched the trailer and thought, man, this looks so awesome. I've got to give this a go. So here we are, going to do a playthrough and see what we think. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hello, it's great to meet you. I am Professor Hiroko, a researcher that resides in my hometown of Tanuku Village. I am thrilled to introduce you to the wonderful world of Tonorio. Please allow me to share something with you before we begin. This is a Tenoken, the most essential tool for any tamer. With a Tenoken, you can encapsulate, shrink, and carry around Tenorians with ease. We owe the foundation of our modern world to the strong connection Tenokens established between tamers and Tenorians. Look at this beauty! Ten organs come in all shapes and sizes, and each one is unique. They live with us, roaming the land, skies, and seas. Without Tenorians, our world will be a very different place. Now, enough talk about me. Can you provide me your name? We can do it. It's actually really cool. It's all voice acted. I like that, man. That's so sick. And the uh, Tenorians actually look really cool as well. All right, so let's put our name in. Voltsy. All right, all good. Is Voltsy okay? Yes, it is. Great. Your Tenorian adventure is just about to begin. Ooh. God, I said that town's looking really awesome. I do wonder if we'll be going by Voltsy as the nickname we just put in, or if, like, it'll be my account username because people took uh, Voltsy and Hero Voltsy, so I had to become Hero Zorok. Oh, man. But the town's looking nice, though. Oh. Adventure. <gasps> oh, what? Yeah, we're just... Just chilling in bed. It's like we're having like a nightmare or something. I mean, our eyes are open. I mean, the smile on our face looks like we're just chilling. <laughs> I'm up at the crack of dawn, preparing breakfast, doing the laundry, and you hibernating. Well, I'll get some uh, good rest, man. I'm going on an adventure soon. Need all the energy I can get. I didn't know my kid was pearl lazy. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Today's match is on. Ooh, today's match, eh? Yeah, it's gonna get us up. Yeah, we look we look awful. You can like buy outfits for your characters in Roblox, but I thought till I know I'm gonna like the game, I'm gonna rock with the default dude, which yeah. looks so bad. If your dad was your age, you'd be jumping out of bed for a league match. But you? It's like pulling teeth just to get you to open your eyes. Now sit up, sweetie. You're missing it. Oh. Because of, like the like, cutscenes and stuff in this game is really awesome. Like, how it goes into it. A true clash. Good announcer voice as well. Ordrake and Citrus are pushing each other to their limits, showing what makes Tenorian battles so captivating. However, it looks like Citrus is losing stamina. That big dude looking scary. Them leaves did not look super effective at all. <laughs> oh, you sleeping? 
Watch out, it's gonna, it's gonna stab it! I'll, I'll just this eat is it. Unforgettable showdown here in the Tenorio Battle League. <laughs> See, I'm gonna like stab and just ends up eating her head. <laughs> what? Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a quick message from our sponsors. Darn it! Right on a cliffhanger too. Come on, just broadcast, man. <laughs> oh well. That's brutal. Heading downstairs, Moondrop. Okay, we have control. So head outside for a breath of fresh air. All right. Room's looking kind of cool. All right, let's head outside. Want to get my starter, man. So we've seen the three stars. I don't know which one I'm going to pick, though. Looks so cool. Hey, yo. You know, Kira doesn't sleep in as much as you. You could learn a thing or two from her. Who's Kira? Sister? Rival? Friend? Again, Neighbor? I'm really sorry for not being able to get you that new bike. Oh man, I really want that new bike as well. I just can't right now. At least not until I find another job. Oh, how dare you trying to get a second job or like a, a new job just to be able to afford to get me a bike. Oof. As soon as I find work again, we'll be able to pay off more of the bills. We just need to hang on a bit longer. Yeah, man, man, screw the bills, get me a bike. Anyways, I'll be here sorting through the mail. Let's hope for some good news this time. All right, good news, please. Try and keep your mind off of it, okay? It might be good to get out of the house and at least get some fresh air. Go on. Go out, get some fresh air, and then we can uh, hopefully start our adventure, get our starter, make lots of money, and then we can get our mum out of debt. Sound good. Oh. Sick. All right, Ayo. Hey Kira looks cool. Gonna go and get our uh, starter then, shall we? Perfect timing. I was just coming to get you. My dad wants us down at the research lab right now. Got any idea of what he needs us for? And don't just shrug this time. <laughs> He's gonna shrug anyway. <laughs> Captain Cryptic. The mystery kind of makes it more exciting, you know? Dad's been diving into some wild stuff lately. So, I think whatever he's calling us for is going to be amazing. Come on! So, Kira is the uh, professor's daughter then, okay. So, we to rotate the camera. Oh, we can zoom in and out. Oh, that's how you rotate the camera. Hold on. Um, with a right click. Alright, so which way are we going? Oh, that way. Wait, no, that's just uh, Tano Station. That's probably like the um, like Pokemon Center equivalent. Okay, got tab for menu. Tenorian's notebook. Tanopedia traveling missions. Oh, one medal to access this feature. Okay. And you must be at least a team at level 10 for missions. Okay, and all that settings. Right, so let's close that. Right. Uh, maybe over there? That looks lab-like to me. Because it, like, the, the like, town does look really cool. Yeah, Discovery Research Conservation. Oh, goal and tradition for generations. So those are starters. Oh, I think... I think I know which one I'm going to pick. Not going to spoil until uh, we actually make our choice. But I think I know which one I'm picking. You're here! 
Aw, look at you guys. All grown up and ready to travel to Norio. We've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Thanks, Wisteria. It feels great to be inside the lab, actually doing something now, you know? As for the task we wanted you to complete, we've got three Tenorians requiring special attention and research. Since each is a member of an endangered species, we're dedicated to their rehabilitation and understanding. Professor believes that you two are perfect for the job. So, let me introduce you to the little ones. Charkal, Ravish, Chuakwa, come! <laughs> Just <laughs> a little glitched out there with some of them. Ah, you too. I am thrilled to see you both. I appreciate your enthusiasm about this task, especially you, Kira. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <sighs> I still can't believe you're finally letting me help out, you know? So, what do we do now? Do we start the research? You each get to choose one of these incredible Tonorians to research and bound with. It's a tough decision, but an exciting one. Kira, do you mind going first? <gasps> you have such fluffy fur! But you have such a pretty little crown and tail. And you look just as adorable too. Ah, I can't pick! They're all too gosh darn cute. You go first. Tilt me narrow down to choices. Okay? Okay, which one are we gonna pick? So, Chuakwa is actually kind of adorable. I Honestly, I thought I was gonna pick that one when I saw the little picture of it, but the Charsal is also looking really cool. The little crown on it looks so sick. Oh, but the. Oh, this is actually kind of. Ah, oh, it's a hard choice. Palmy kind of hopes that um, Rabush, the, the little grass rabbit, goes into, you know, like the, the total knockoff, like Cinderace, grass Cinderace from Power World. <laughs> kind of cool to look like that. But um, honestly, I, I kind of like the fire snake. Usually I'd go for this, like the, the, the water dog, but the little crown on the fire snake is looking kind of sick. I think I have to go for that. I don't know, I really, I really like it. Choosing Chihuahua. Hello, cutie. Hopefully, this research can finally shed some light on what we've been studying. And if your travels yield significant results, we'll generously compensate you and your mother. Remember, this journey is not just about research, but also about forging a deep bond with your companion. Your dedication to their research and your bond will shape their incredible potential. I'll be closely monitoring the progress of your chosen partners while Professor Iroko works on his research and handles some important work affairs. Your initial task is to focus on researching the revolutions. Your mother still hasn't gotten you an atlas, right? Here, I took the liberty of grabbing you one of the newer models that we've had shipped here just in case. Consider it an early birthday present. Ooh, got an atlas. And of course, Kira has to pick the Tenorian that's going to be strong against us. And we just got, still got these, like, starters just <laughs> walking on our head. <laughs> so the atlas in your backpack. Okay, cool. Check that in a little bit. If you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to call. Anything. I believe in the potential of both of you. As for you, before you set off, I recommend checking in with your mom. 
Afterward, I suggest both of you to venture beyond the borders of Tenoku Village and make your way to Route 1. It's a vibrant route filled with diverse but weaker Tenorians, perfect for the start of your research endeavors. And here, take these 10 tarot cans. Sweet, so comfortable for Tenorians. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so I got like 10 Pokeballs, nice. They'll allow you to encapsulate, shrink, and carry around other Tenorians with ease. You may use them strategically to grow a team of your choosing and overcome challenges along the way. While working on your research, I recommend taking on the Tenorial League. Yes! Alright, Captain. <clears throat> yes, the League can be an excellent opportunity to test your skills, grow stronger, and further the bond with your partner. It's a very tough challenge for a lot of people, though. Just be prepared, okay? My apologies, everyone. I have another meeting soon. Thank you. You know what they say. Time is gold. All right, time is gold. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we back. The game crashed a little bit, but uh, yeah, so. The star stars are following us. Hey, that's pretty cool. Look at the uh, the paintings though. They all look sick. Got some more Tenorians over there. So let's just make our way to uh, Route One then, shall we? Okay. I I do love all the art on the walls. Is this like fan art or is this like like art commission for the game? Like, either way. Ah, oh, so sick. Oh, shiny Tenorians. Right in the wild, a different color than normal. So there's the rate. One in 2,000. <laughs> it's got a little balloon on it. Okay, can I speak to you? Uh, don't think so. Alright, let's be on our way. There's also like an MMO as well, so we're going to see other players. Which is really cool. And I bet they're going to look so much better than me. Because I'm just wearing the default clothes. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's going to battle, right? So quick, follow me. Okay. I've been thinking. Wouldn't it be cool to kick off our research journey with a battle? You can't deny that it's a great way to start learning about our new partner. Come on, you know you want to. Just one quick battle. What do you say? Can I refuse? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Ooh. Liking the battle music. Ooh, wait. Has it got, actually got controller support? My controller vibrated, but, uh... Yeah, my controller doesn't actually work. I've got to use the mouse and keyboard. Uh, strike. Got excited for a second, because I thought if they keep the, the, the controller work, this could be really nice. So you hear the clickety clacks of the keyboard and mouse, I do apologize. All right, uh, let's keep striking. The good thing is if we don't have like, like the fire type, you know, equivalent to like ember, whatever it's gonna be, I highly doubt you have the water ones, so we should be good. Don't think we need potions either, but just keep striking, we, sh we should be fine. Maybe five damage, so we can take at least three more. Keep going. I think maybe two more hits we can take you out. It's gonna be very close. Nice, one more, one more. Do not want to lose the uh, the first fight. I lose it too many times in Pokemon games, man. <laughs> oh, no. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you know it's fainting. Okay, I thought you had like one HP left. Ooh, well you got me there. Yeah, and we grow a level. Sweet. Can learn a new move and. 300 of the uh, the currency in this game. So it gives us a lot more to learn. So that was awesome. Tell your mom I said 
All right, we'll do. Gotta remember where our how can we just like drop down? No, we can't. All right, so have to go oh, all the way around. This is good. We can explore the, uh, the town a little bit. So can we like speak to people? Our random NPCs. Ah, there you go. You got to click on like that. So my lunch break's almost over. I should head back to work soon. Come on, how quickly time flies when you're enjoying some fresh air, right? Very nice town, eh? Oh. So certain uh, Tanokans have a uh, can capture. Certain Tanokans have a can capture Tenorians with a higher success rate. Okay. I've uh, got to remember our houses as well. Yo! How's it going? Ooh. Ah, the joy of travel. There's always something new to discover. I must say, uh, Tanaku Village could use a bit more flair in the fashion department. I mean, it does look really nice, though. Hey, oh. Wait, uh, yeah, so this is our house, isn't it? This one. Got a banger house. Hey, well, Mum, we're gonna go on a journey. Gonna make lots of money and get you out of debt. Nothing but letters from the bank. I'm so sorry, honey. I should have done more. I should have. The professor wants you to go on a research venture around Tenorio? With a cash reward? Are you sure you're ready for this now? You've never been out there alone for long before. Yeah, I'll be fine, probably. But if you believe it's the right thing to do, I trust you. Just promise me you won't get into trouble out there, okay? Uh, no promises. Sweetie. Okay. All right, so now we can start our adventure. Traverse your way to Ark something? Can't see because of loading screen. Ah, Arksworth. Don't know which way to go. I guess probably want to go this way. Wait, uh, are we fully healed? Norians. Oh, we are. Okay, cool. So then I can. Oh, we got mounts. Uh, summary. So I can learn a new move. Okay, summary. Oh, that changed nickname at any time. That's cool. Ah, uh, tap to exit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Scrolls. The scrolls like TMs, I guess. Got key items. All right. Uh, let's go out to real. That thing's kind of cute. All right, got ten tan uh, tano cans. Let's see what we can catch around here. Is it like random encounters in the grass, or is it gonna be like run into stuff? Oh, okay. Random encounters in grass. I like the little like, leaves effect coming up. Kind of reminds me of uh, like X and Y. This thing's kind of cute. Alright, so if we attack and we'll go torch. Nice, okay. And, oh, multi hit and attack, okay. Let me try and catch this. Try and catch our first thing. Tano cans. Use! Let's hope the catch rate's good. Go on. Go on. Oh, I broke. Of course it did. Like, I hope, I hope, I really hope the catch rate's good. Because the free to play, like, creature team games I've played are usually pretty good. The one thing that lets it down is always the catch rate is always, like, super high. So, like, obviously, that encourages you to, like, spend money and get more balls and stuff. But. Oh, go on. Hey, we got it, nice. But obviously I'm not sure what like the uh, microtransactions are like for this. Hopefully purely cosmetic, that'd be sick. That's what we like to see. Uh, got a little like dinosaur on his head. Oh, what is... Okay. Oh, is that a trainer battle? I was more distracted by that dude running past. What was that? All right, oh, that's route two there. Bugcatcher Andy sends out uh, a ooh, caterpillar. All right, that's torture. I'm assuming fire's gonna be super effective against bug, right? Nice, gonna one shot ya. That's what we like to see, BB. 
and we level up already. It said party gain experience, so gonna assume XP share, XP always on. Yeah, level three. Yeah, good. All right, that's awesome. Definitely gonna catch a lot then. Hey, oh, you want to battle as well? Hey, oh. Alright, so far, I mean, it's not, not bad so far. Alright, uh, I... I aspire? Hmm, it's torture. I think, I'm, think, I think I'm definitely happy with my starter, man. This, this little... Little fire snake kind of sick with the crown. I think if we didn't have the crown, I would have picked the water starter, absolutely. Crown was just so cool. Also, what's the level on top as well? Like, my character on the top says level 4. It's like our character rank? Like, team rank? I'm not sure how, like, this works at the moment. Also, the more we play, I'll, like, figure things out. I, I do like the leaves effect, man. I thought that was really sick in, like, X and Y when it, like, the leaves, oh, the, the grass comes up. It looks really sick. Alright, uh... I'll just take you out for the experience. Got plenty of PP. That was smack. Oof. Oh! Okay, I hit three times. Not sure what the max is, but uh, I probably should get healed up. Might run back, then we can actually check out the Tano station, like the, the, the poker center. Nice. I'm gonna unplug my controller as well, because I left it on my lap after it vibrated and it kept vibrating a lot. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, let's run back. It's right at the end there, so... Oh, okay, you can run really fast. Sweet. And we are proper legging it, man. Look at this goal. Can we go to, like, the houses as well? Oh, we can. Sweet. Should probably, like, look around just see if we can find some stuff. Hey, oh. Ah, young one, there's nothing quite like the aroma of fresh coffee from the Mystic Cade Cafe. I wonder where they uh, source those amazing beans. Yeah, I'm not the biggest lover of coffee, man. Abuela, I can't wait for Tamo School. So excited to learn how to catch and bond with Tenorians just like you did. Uh, right, let's go upstairs. Oh, can't go upstairs. Which makes sense, don't want to go into there. Oh, uh... Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, but let's, I don't, don't want to break the game, you know? The game's already crashed me a couple of times today. I don't want to... Oh. Yeah, don't want to <laughs> forcefully, <laughs> purposely make it crash. <laughs> oh, that'd be bad. Hey, oh. Uh, so, I aspire dreams of flying, you know? He's always determined to evolve so he can spread its wings and soar the skies. Can't help but envy that freedom. I'll spread my wings one day and make Auntie proud. You know, my brother admires his I Aspire's determination to evolve and fly. But for me, I find I find joy in what's right down here. Each Norian has his own goals, just like we do. Nice. Uh, yo. I want to see the evolution of these like mons, man. They actually look re they're really well designed so far. But there's beauty in uh, Tanuku Village, isn't there? Love watching the sunset with uh, Makrai. The simple moments like these that, that are so beautiful. Double check when we can't go like up yeah, can't go upstairs in people's houses. We'll try to explore as much as we can. Alright, uh, we'll go in this house and then we'll go into the Tano station, see what's up. Ooh, got a fireplace going. Uh hi. Just need a break or some peace and quiet right now. Love to take a relaxing stroll through Fable Falls. That sound kind of nice. Got a big family reunion going on, it seems. So Kyra is always arguing with her younger brother, Curtis. We should stop squabbling like a pair of chikrooks for just five minutes. Ooh, unlucky, man. Dad's getting angry because Kyra and Curtis are arguing it again. Says they're making more noise than a group of grow hogs. <laughs> are you Curtis and Kyra? Yeah, I keep telling my little brother, Curtis, that the secret incense is a myth. Can't just believe everything you hear on the internet. I mean, <laughs> I did when I was a kid, to be fair. Like, Mew under the truck. I think the, the biggest thing 
I thought was real was like uh, the, I think it was the 100 successful space launches in um, Mos Deep City. And then you, you hit take the rocket and go to space and you can get the oxys. That's what I believed as a kid. Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, hi. You need a breather on your journey? Yeah. Tano stations are your best bet. Nurse Claire at the Tano stations treat all Tenorians with care. Okay. Uh, yo. I like that little dude there. We saw the evolution at the beginning of the game by the professor, but hey, fellow Tamer, when it comes to toughness, there's nothing like my bulldog. Defense is off the charts, making it an absolute beast in battles. Keep your team strong and sturdy. Is that the bulldog there? That actually looks really cool. Oh, that thing's adorable. Oh, man. I think it's going to be hard later on deciding what my team's going to be. Oh, we're just a bit, uh, yo. Voice acted as well, which is cool. Oh, we'll do. All right. Uh, is that Among Us? <laughs> oh, man. Because I want my one big hope for, like, Pokemon one day is just get voice acting. For, like, you get, like, professional voice actors just to, like, do some of these characters, like, the big battle moments when they're, like, sending out the Pokemon, their, their final, you know, attack and stuff. Oh, I feel like it'd be so sick. One day we can, we can hope. Legend Z. Let's bring that voice acting in, man. Oh, encounter. If there's a new one, we'll catch it. I feel like we might find like an I Aspire. Oh, yeah, you go. I Aspire. Because that felt like, like an early route um, to Norian. All right, yeah, let's go for a torch. Burn it. Oh, wait. Okay, we good. It lived just about. And then we'll throw our Tano can. Let's go, BB. Come on, get caught, get caught. Come on. Come on. One more. We got it? Yay, we got it. Woo. A little bit worried that it was uh, frozen. It's like, going to pop out. <laughs> All right, so our team's starting to come together. Quite nice. Oh, actually, the game looks kind of beautiful right now with the, the sun rising. Just talking about our character. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh. You kind of thought they said something like, hey, oh, let's fight. Oh, okay, I guess they said it there, right? Uh, but be careful, because these things can hit multiple times, and I don't want to get taken out. Like, if you hit, like, five times, then that could potentially almost take me out. Okay, good damage, good damage. Screech, that's fine. That lowers my defense, partially. All right, another torch. Sweet, give me that experience. Almost level nine. No take only move. Okay, and you got Calipilla, which is uh, which is good because we can one shot you a torch. Oh, it says like there's a little green arrow, shows super effective, so I assume there's like a red arrow to show. Not very effective as well. Which is good for like the types, obviously we don't know. Like, I don't know what the type chart's gonna be like for this game, because sometimes you play, you know, creature taming games, they change things up a little bit. But usually fire is super effective against bug. Okay, so let's uh, head to route two. Prelude planes. Alright, yo, you wanna fight as well? Liking the music as well. Like the sim is all like custom made for the game. Oh what well, you got for us, come on, please be something easy to beat. Yes, now it's just level five. I see that's gonna be like tamer level. Maybe we get like rewards for increasing that. I'll, I'll check in a second on the on the um the menu. Oh, we, we one-shot you. Critical hit. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And no tin. Okay. Torch. Tamer. 
Tail smack. Don't hit five times. Oh, I got a critical hit in there. I only hit twice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check in a second after with this battle, see like how many times that tail smack can hit. If it's like what two, three times, that's not too bad. They can hit up to five times, then we be a little bit careful sometimes. Right, so let's check things out. So if we do menu, right, so I can click me. Don't know what that does. Uh, Tenorians. So summary. Where do we see moves? Ah, there you go. Got chomp, tail smack. Two to four times in a row. Okay, two to four. And this is uh, looks like a dark type. I'm not sure what actual uh, name for it is. So we go, wait, summary, so this is... I, I, I wish it said like what the type is, I guess that's a like normal type. Obviously this is fire, yeah, fire there. And this is gonna be flying. Does it say anywhere what the type is? Just says traits. I'm sure like someone mentioned like a like a train, uh, yeah, trainer school. We can find that, maybe. maybe. We can find out the types and stuff in the game. All right, no ten. We we'll just take you out real quick. Oh, I should have seen if I could buy some potions. That would have been nice. Almost level ten already, man. They can always run back to the uh, Tano station. I need to get healed up. It's not too far. Go on, yeah. Lower my defense. You ain't gonna touch me. I'm too strong! Let's go, and come on, level 10. Very excited to see what this is going to evolve into. Oh, it's just the one? That's all you. Oh no, it was a while. I thought I was a trainer battling for a second. I saw the person in the background, but. Hey, yo, this guy wants to fight. And, uh, see that person up there? <laughs> but you got a bug, so we are going to delete you so quick. But yeah, like once we finish, like this, this game isn't fully complete. It's like, uh, I think the first two gyms equivalent. If we get to the end and I, and I really like it, like I'm liking it so far. I think it's pretty decent. But like, if I, if I think it's you know really awesome, and we'll keep continuing with the updates. I'll probably put a little bit of money into uh, make my character look <laughs> look decent because <laughs> can't give out how bad I look. Oh. Oh, a Citroen. That might be like the the first evolution of the thing that got like eaten <laughs> in, the, uh, in the Battle League in the TV at the start of the intro. Oh, yeah. Screech, that's fine. Let's go strike. Finish you off. Oh, good. If you guys are playing this as well, like if you've got any like tips or anything, do let me know. If you know how to use a controller, that'd also be kind of helpful, because... <laughs> oh, keyboard and mouse is... I, I can use keyboard and mouse, but, I mean, the purpose is just to relax, and it's just much easier with controller. I can sit back a bit, you know? There's nothing over here. Can we just drop down? Oh, we can. Wish I could jump. Oh! Wait, huh? Oh! Man, you saw me from miles away! Oh, that little apple looks kind of sick. Is that a little apple? Uh, a rattle. Oh, like a rabbit. Okay. That's kind, of, that's kind of cute. Honestly, if I see one, I'll, I'm going to catch one. I assume that's going to be like grass type, right? Oh, we deleted though. <laughs> okay, if it really feels like getting the fire starter right now, it's like the best choice. Like just to uh, delete everyone. And you got another one for us. Ooh, it's not your day, is it? Unlucky. Well, I'm not sure if, it, if it's supposed to, but I feel like I'm getting like full PP after every battle. Like, I still have like at 35 out of 35 scorches. I'm not sure I'm supposed to keep going down. But does that say I got minus 53 there? <laughs> Did I lose money for that? <laughs> the same people's like characters, man. They look kind of cool. Right, uh, which way do we want to go? 
That dude looks sick. Uh, I guess you want to fight. Hey, oh. Uh, what do you got for us? Like a little cow? Is it, okay. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, nice. I think this game going to double battle. That's sick. Okay. Right. So we're definitely going to scorch the uh, citron. That kills you. And then yeah, citron. And then uh, we got... Oh, dark type. There you go. It says the types there. Normal. Dark. So it is dark. Okay. So let's... Oh, that's psych. Cal. That's uh, psychic then, I guess. Oh, I didn't one shot yet. Okay. Strike me. That does like nothing. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, no. A child saw. I need to go healed up after this. Right, I'll run back to the, the Tano station after this fight. If we win it, that is. Still go pretty badly. I assume like flying is going to be super effective against grass. That is grass. So let's go. Got a fighting move there. Yeah. So let's go pecking order on you. But it's not very effective against Psychic type. And then we'll go Dark on the Psychic half, and that should hopefully finish you off. Oh, we're going for a cheeky, like, quick attack there. Okay. Ooh, increase our attack as well. Nice. And then go on out, speed it. Yeah, we are speeding with a chomp. Sick. Hey, and we grew a level. Hey, and you grow a level as well. I said minus 50. Not sure if that's not saying like dash 53 or, or it's minus 53. Uh, so that's probably the way to go. Oh, there's a healing person over there. I think. Yeah. I don't want to fight that person. So I'm just going to go all the way over here because they might want to fight me. Oh, get into a random encounter. If it's something we can catch, I'll definitely catch it. I want that rattle. Ooh. A doopy. Okay, this actually looks kind of cool as well. <laughs> Alright, I want to I get this. Uh, let's just go for a chomp. Yeah, I think I'll go for two more chomps. Maybe three if you're going to put my attack down like that. Oh, I'm wasting your attack and defense. Oh, this is going to take a couple then. Alright, worst case scenario, I have to run away. Chomp you again. I actually did a lot more than I thought with your you know, defense going up and my attack going down, but. This could actually be kind of sick if you just keep harvesting and getting that attack and defense up. Like, I've got to catch this. Okay. This is looking a little scary, but I need to get this. Oh, it's rotting. Okay, so it gets attack boosts after a certain amount of times and it starts to lose it. But like, it's fine. If we just use it to like, start off with trying to do as much text as possible, then once it starts decreasing, we can just like switch out or something. Let's try and catch this bad boy. Come on, be cool. Preferably I would have gone for another attack, but maybe we can get it. We got it. Hey, we got it, nice. I'm gonna doopy. Doopy 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 doopy. Wait. Alright, uh. <laughs> what is this guy's character? Oh, it looks odd. Uh. Can I not heal up? Right, why can't I. Oh, wait. There you go. Welcome to the Tano Station. Alright, let's get healed up. Definitely in a quick recovery. Thank you very much. That thing with the big hands looks. Kind of cute as well. Wait, are we fully healed? Did it work? Yeah, okay, cool. Ah. Right, so let's... Yeah, fight this dude. Hey, oh. If you want an easy win, man, you should have, like, walked a little bit far forward and you could have caught me when I was trying to get healed up. Then you might have stood a chance. Now that I'm fully healed, you are gonna get wrecked. All right, let's go Char Sile. This thing's only level eight. We'll get healed up again after this fight, just 
to make sure we go fully healed. Ooh, actually, I think you might take two more Scorches. Eva, we're going to take your axe. I don't know if that was half or just about. Yeah, just about. I thought you might live another one. Lucky, man. Look how much HP you got. So little. So little HP. So strike you, though. Nice. Okay. I like XP always on. Yeah, so that time we got like 300. Like a lot of the fights been getting 300, but then the last few ones we've got minus 53. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, just going to heal up one more. Welcome to the channel station. I would like to get healed up. Thank you very much. Come again soon. Might not have to. Depends. A few more trainers to bow. Wait. Oh, I battled you, didn't I? Come on, where's a rattle? Give me that rattle, man. Right, deal. Right, deal. Nope, this is Ice Fire. I'll scorch you a couple of times and we all good. Might be a one tree, only level three. Of XP or so that's just like a good idea to fight everything we see at the moment. Everyone else gets some experience. We might get 12? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I saw the outfits people have in this game just look either really cool or just really bizarre. That's kind of like I can get this like a double battle, but it's fine, it's fine. Got heartbroken hair, like the outfits are sick. That cute weed. Oh, that's kind of cute. I think that. The, um, the evolution of this, I bet, is the, the thing we saw in the in the uh, the lab, that big painting, that massive, like, kind of like a uh, dandelion-looking thing. I bet that's like the evolution. Kind of want that then, actually. It might not be, but I just feel like kind of looks like it would go into it. I think there's a hundred Tenorians in this game that we can get for this like first update, which is a lot, man. Be hitting the train. Okay. The text goes way too fast there to even see what they say. <laughs> Alright, and then we gotta fight you next. No? Do you not wanna fight? Oh no, you do. Okay, cool. You got a dupe, so that is grass type, right? Just gonna scorch you and we all good. It's so cute, man. <laughs> Alright, level six. Watch. Ooh, easy. Is that what you got? You got more. The experience game we get is still really nice. So I was like, almost half our XP bar for 13. All right, so this is a dead end. Yeah, I can't jump up, can I? If I can, I don't know what the button is. Mm, right, nothing around here. Have we got like a map we can look at? So this is one medal. Missions gotta be team level 10. That's the P uh, zero shinies. Oh you gotta use the, the mouse wheel to get across here. Yeah, there's uh what how many? Oh whoa! Oh wait, it goes from 117 to 200? 218. Okay, so it, maybe that's how much how many they're planning to make, 218 in the game? Which is a lot. Maybe we can only get like, what is it, 112-1? Maybe a different form or something, but yeah, maybe like 117 is the amount we can get in this, um, this current version. Which is still a lot. There we go, ooh, got the little, uh, caterpillar. Not the biggest of our bugs, but... Mm, no, I'm not going to catch it. I've seen some other things I'd rather get. I thought about just getting it anyway, just to have something extra on the team. But this Charsar is just killing everything, so we good. The team doesn't seem difficult at the moment, so we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I want this little dude, though. 
That looks so sick. We'll check the, um, the Tanopedia again, see if we can see the location of, um, Tenorians. Because now we're going to battle this dude. If I can find this in the, in the wild. Definitely want to add it to the team. Because the bug, I, like I said, I don't like bugs too much, but sometimes bugs can be pretty cool. Heracross, Butterfree, this thing. Definitely would not mind using it. And you got a Radil as well. That thing's so cute. I want this. So we've got two more slots left. Get a Radil and a, what was it called? A Star, Star Guru? Whatever it was called. I want, I want them two at the moment. Borrow sounds like a ground type move. I'll obviously, I think ground will be super effective against fire. There's, you know, going off Pokemon standards here. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, give me 13. Give me 13, please. Hey! Oh, my level 14. Got so much experience from that. What? Nice. My experience is generous sometimes. All right, uh, Tanopedia, does it say? Oh, I think you might have to catch it. I can't, cl can't click it unless we own it. Wait, let me double check. So yeah, so you only get the informa information once you catch it, which is cool. But, oh man. Wish you could look at the information without. Oh, what is that? Okay. Uh. Need the rupture survival kit to use this. Okay, it looks sick. Kind of runs like a, a raid, raid den. <laughs> so the Oxworth, we made it. Hey. We'll go explore like uh, the town city. So, oh, that's nice, route three. As it leads into like a town or something. It's quiet, man. It's too quiet. Oh, yeah, there it is. Any cool things around here, route three? Come on, give me that radio. Right. Oh, oh, okay. No, I, I'd rather have this. This looks sick. Sorry, Rado. You got replaced already. A, a root... A root rake? A root... Root rake? I don't, I don't know how you want to pronounce this bit, but level 9. Ooh. It's pretty tough. This could actually be a good place to do some grinding once we get up. Oh, okay. It's going to one-shot it. <laughs> got a critical hit. I've got level 9. I could probably take one Scorch, but... Yeah. I think that crit kind of changed things a little bit. All right. That's fine. Uh, I, I do want to think get one of those So I'm just gonna look in the grass for another one Also, there's a chance to see if we can find anything else Oh, as, there we go. Got another one. This one's level 10 Right, surely you can take one Scorch Oh, yeah, I, I read that as Arkham <laughs> Welcome to Arkham Asylum <laughs> Oh, man Sick. All right, hobble. That was my speed. That's fine. That's fine. Now we're gonna catch you. All right, Tano cans. Let's throw this bad boy. Yeah, the catch rate in this game's good. Like I, no, I said earlier, like how the catch rate can be pretty bad. This one's is a good catch rate. Nice. See, for me, like free to play games, I don't mind putting money in. Right, obviously that helps developers and stuff and it's obviously a free to play game, but for me, I, I think I purely like cosmetics. You want to give me like a cool item or something or just a hat, jacket. As long as it's not pay to win, it's all good. Because pay to win sucks and we got, oh, hey, oh, you want to fight? I got, I got a big team now. Father used to take me here when I was a kid. What's going on?
We got a call about some suspicious activity here at the museum. Sounds like someone's been eyeing up all the artifacts a bit too much. If you're thinking of going to the museum, stay cautious. We'll be taking a look around. Man, I need a nap. We're all tired, Jay. Not the time. Can I just rest my eyes for a minute? Five seconds, please, guys. I think I'm starting to hallucinate. Ugh. You two stay safe, all right? Let's head to the museum and see if we can find what we came for. Ooh, someone's eyeing up the museum, eh? Oh, they look sick, eh, oh? Didn't set my alarm for Tamer School. Looks like it's time to take the day off. Hey, so Tamer School's got to be. Oh, okay, that's locked. Can't go in there. What's up? The doopy, stop eating the paint. It's not good for you. I swear this uh, tutorial has stranger taste buds than a, a teruga. You have to stop eating the paint. <laughs> All right, if we find the school, we'll go in and check it out. Might be a good idea to first just try and um, find the Tano station in case we get into a fight and then we lose. I assume we'll get spawned back at the start. Uh, yo. My mentor and I often strategize together. He has a deep knowledge of Tenorian typings and moves, guiding me on my teaming journey. Oh, that'd be kind of sick. His top kind of reminds me of Klee. From Genshin, but uh, yo. So I heard a legend of a Tenorian that protects the trees. I don't think he liked me very much. <laughs> Yes, we can't go in there. Unless it's like night time and you just can't go in buildings at night. It's always a possibility. Uh, yo. Hey, have you heard about the legend of the celestial entity? Rumor has it it left Tenorio many years ago. Oh, okay. First time hearing about it. Aw, look at the little dude. <laughs> uh, yo. So eat your food, man. Some of the Tenorians would love to have that. They only go to waste. Hey man, if you're not gonna have our of it. Uh, everything here is so pretty, it absolutely fits my style. Have you ever seen a shiny Tenor? I haven't yet. I saw one a long time ago, but it flew away from me. Oh, dude. I feel like if I was if I was to find a shiny in this game, 100 percent I'd find one to have like no balls or or like Tano cans or just like escape from it or take it out. I feel like something bad like that would happen. Oh, they look really cool. Love the designs, man, of the stones. I don't keep saying they actually are just really sick. All right, so which way do we want to go? Uh, oh, could this be the school? Or maybe that's the museum. Fossil exam. Okay, that's got to be the museum. We'll go there last. I'd firstly like to find the. Just stare at the stars, I guess. I was going to say, like, it would be better if it was, uh, you know, sunny, daytime, but. I mean, it's, it's still kind of cool to stargaze. That's the I think we saw the, the star. Actually, look kind of sick. Got a hammer for a tail. Got a chainsaw man looking sort of face. And then <laughs> got the swords. Yo. It's uh, fascinating how Tenorians coexist with people here. Live in their own area while we have ours. I feel like, though, if these dudes were to take over, they probably could. Eat our heads, man. All right, uh, yo, so I was supposed to meet my brother. I wonder where he went. Down here, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, where's this taking us? Uh, hi. Fishing in the rivers of Tanari is so fun. I once caught a carpent toy. That was so big, it almost pulled me into the water. Oh, we actually kind of need a water type. This thing's kind of cute. Uh, all right, so no fishing rod or anything from you. Let's just whoop, continue on. Okay. It's gonna double check we can't go into any of these houses just in case. Yeah. Let's go check every single one just in case. The fact we can go into the, the house in the first town makes me think maybe either we can't go during the night or we can meet maybe like a future update. Goodness means all your nice little battle. Oh, that's a uh, Tenorio. When I saw that like moving in the background of one of our battles earlier, I thought that was like someone's skin. But uh, I guess some teamers just don't know when to give up. Uh, oh, okay. 
Uh, sure, the Tenno station's back here, so that's Route 3. Where is the Tenno station? Maybe this place doesn't have one? The museum looks sick, Don. This is inside the museum. What's this over here? Ooh, some construction going on. Hey, oh, what are you doing? Now, ordering around mole roops all day is hard work. Well, I'm serious. I want to see what mole roop looks like. Uh, does it look like we do work around here? It's all mole roop. <laughs> I mean, there's no mole roops around, so a little bit. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, this is the Tano station. Okay. It didn't say on the, um, like a Tano station on the outside, like, uh, the building before, so I just assumed this was like a random house. Before we check upstairs as well. I think we do some grinding. I'm definitely going to go back where we caught that little like pumpkin looking thing. That seems like a decent place to grind. Oh, is it like a mart? Okay. Hello, my good sir. Uh, yeah, there you go. Tano Cam Max. That's premium cur currency. These are locked. Master Potion. Stores to his HP and rooms. Oh, it's status effect. Oh, so that's like a four store. One third, one fifth, one eighth. Doesn't seem like much, but uh, one eight, one eighth does not seem like a lot for five hundred. Should I just get like the one fifth? I mean, that's fine. Might as well get the one third for five hundred more. Does not seem like a lot, so I'm just gonna get that for now. Uh, exit. I can't exit. Uh oh. No! Wait. Ah, I think I've crushed it. Can't exit. Okay, we're back, we're back. Alright. I get a little bit nervous when uh, the game crashes, don't know where I'm gonna end up. <laughs> oh. Uh. Just, did I just fall down? <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's go to the museum then. Fossil exhibit to Norm's history. All right. Guess we're gonna have our like first running with the bad guys. Oh, hey. It's been years since I've last visited this museum. This place hasn't even changed a single bit. It's like seeing a time capsule of my childhood. <sighs> I wanted to visit more often, but you know, my dad. He's been extremely dedicated to his work for the past few years. You rarely see him doing anything else anymore. But I can help him. We can help him. If we give him information good enough for his research, everything will be okay again. He'll be able to relax. Do you hear that? Holy climbing out on a bike! What the heck? Jeez, boy's got a nitrous boost. Oh, hello again. Sorry if you two were planning on visiting the museum. We're putting everything on lockdown until we nab that crook. But seeing as you're already here, spill it. Which way did he go? Uh, officer, I swear, it was like a blur. That guy ran out of there and front flipped right over us. He stole an extremely valuable artifact. If you find him or the item, contact the museum immediately. Wait! I'll help get back the artifact for you. We appreciate your cooperation, ma'am. It looks like the boy got away. Let's spread out and search. Keep your eyes peeled. What? They needed our help. If we have the ability to help someone in need, we should, shouldn't we? Only if there's a reward in it. <laughs> if I ain't getting loot, then what's the point? Plus, if we can get the artifact back, then maybe we'll still be able to visit the museum today. 
Let's take a look around. I think that dude was in the intro as well. So he's gotta be a very important character. So where do we wanna look? Uh Right, let's go check by the docks. I say dock uh, yes, kinda like a docks, I guess. And then Ooh. Looks sick. And we'll make our way around. Uh No, not down there. I thought it might be like a good like spot to run and hide to. Maybe you wanna go like out to route three? Was that oh wait. Great disguise. <laughs> Why, I'd never. My dear, I'm just enjoying the scenery of the park. Give us back what you stole. Oh, dang it. You want it back? Fight me for it. Of course, you can't expect to defeat me, though. <laughs> And can one of you record me beating you so I can post online? Now, come on! I got you covered, champ. Don't worry about it. I got the recording part down. I don't think you'll be beating me. But sure, this guy's got to have the water starter. Not water starter, the, uh, the grass starter, right? That way we can see all three evolutions. We'll have one, Kira's the other, and this dude has the, the third one. If you got the grass starter, then we're going to destroy you. <laughs> What you got for us? Oh! Oh, dude, that tomb thing actually looks kind of sick. Alright, uh, we'll definitely scorch you. And I'm a little bit worried about this thing. Because if it's like a rock type, I. Oh! Is Dark super effective against it? Nice. I assume, like, uh, yeah, like a rock move on my Char Sile will just delete me. But we one shot you! Nice! Chomp ya. Super effective, good. Oh no, I, I, I thought I killed ya. Guess, guess you got like 1 HP left or something? Yeah. It must be super low. Alright, let's torch you again, finish you off. And then we chomp, chomp, chomp. That's you gone. I'm not going to finish this thing off right now. Let's out your next one. If it is the grass bunny, then that would be great. No, it's not. But it's, it's kind of cute, man. Is that a chick bin? Guess you'll be flying type. Alright, one more chomp. I'll finish you off. They were in a 2v1 and we got this. Easy, man. Aren't you glad I'm recording this? <laughs> hey, level 4. Oh, we got some experience. What's level 15? I wonder if it does evolve at level 16. That'd be really cool. It's the evolution, man. Alright, uh, let's torch. And then we... Chomp ya. Critical hit, nice. Get wrecked, dude. Five hundred. That I wasn't actually trying. Of course, of course. I believe you. <laughs> Thankfully, you weren't recording that one. Ooh, awkward. <laughs> Hand it over, Bushhead. Fine. I don't need it anyway. Time is gold. Alright, so now what? Can we go to the museum? I mean, it, it, that looks really nice, man. Still, like, not the biggest lover of the, like, the character designs in Roblox, but I mean, like, some of the, 
Like the art here looks pretty sick. Oh! <laughs> that face, man. That face. I'm sorry, you two, but the museum is currently closed due to police investigation. We actually have something important to talk to you about. We've recovered this artifact from a thief, and we'd like to return it. Oh, thank you, young lady. It's disheartening that someone would try to steal from us. Huh. What's so special about that thing? This is no ordinary stone. It's a rare kind of malachite, known for its unique properties. It can be used to activate a powerful ability, called Guardian Reversion. It's an ancient technique, exclusively reserved for the strongest of tamers, like Stadium Stars. The ability allows Tenorians to tap into their Guardian forms, unlocking hidden potential and unleashing incredible power. There's probably a lot of information about these things that people haven't even fully grasped yet. Imagine just how strong a Tenorian could be after it transforms! That thief probably wanted the band for himself. It's... unfortunate. Some people desire a shortcut to power instead of respecting the honor and rigorous training required. But let's not dwell on that. Justice will come to those who deserve it eventually. It always does. Anyways, I'd be pleased to offer both of you free admission for the day if you'd like. And as no other visitors have arrived yet, consider yourselves VIPs. You've got the place all to yourself. It's the least we could do for your kindness. That's perfect! Thank you! Let's go take a look around and see if anything can help us. I'm gonna go see if I can find somebody I know while we're at it. Okay. The, uh... I guess that's gotta be fan art, right? Because it's got the... Yeah, that looks really sick. That, oh, I like that one. Just the pose of like how big that is. Oh, and they've got, they got the Guardians form they mentioned as well. That sounds really interesting. That dragon looks sick. Ooh. Like, I wish like more like Pokemon fan games would actually do this. Like, um, a few of them have, but it's kind of cool if like, if they have museums in the games, in the fan games, and just like having, you know, the, the standard, oh, well, here's some fossils of like, you know, from Aerodactyl things like they always put in. Having like fan art, it's just, it's really cool. Mysterious shit. Oh, okay. Let's look at all the art. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's got the evolution. The evolution line. Ah, oh, so sick. That beer actually looks really cool as well. I'm definitely seeing some Tenorians I want to go and capture at some point. Oh, that, that, look at that. That art style is so sick. Oh, that's so cool, man. I always thought, like, if I, uh, were to ever get around to making my Pokemon fan game, I'd just, I definitely want to, like, put, like, fan art and stuff in it. Like this. It's so cool. Oh, look at the fossil. Oh, look at that, dude. Wait. <laughs> Got some chickens. So what are we doing? Explore, just explore the museum. That's all we have to do. Oh, definitely, definitely getting some of these Tenorians. Oh, it's a shiny Doopy. Shiny Macri. So these are all shinies. Oh, 
Oh, there's a uh, stuff. Oh, the sacred stones. It's for a bush. Chasa. Oh, they look so cool, man. <laughs> Some stories have evolved throughout generations where traits adapt for these species to thrive in their environments. Shown here is the recorded evolution of three Tenorians through time. Sadly, these species now face the looming threat of extinction in the modern day. This showcases the importance of adapting to your surroundings. Okay. Oh, look at the little pirate bird. <laughs> I want that, man. See, to me, like, to make a good creature taming game, the most important thing to me is definitely, like, well, one of the most important things is definitely the, um... The actual creatures themselves. Gotta be well designed. This game's got some great design ones. Ah, there you are. I must say, Kira really admires you. She loved talking about you. This is Stefan. He's been working here since before I started visiting with my dad. I basically watched her grow up. Kira was filling me in on the research you two are doing. I think I have some information that might be relevant. It's a crucial aspect of Tenorio's history. Anything helps. Come with me, and I'll share the details. Behold, history. These are not just cave paintings. They tell us tales long gone. An integral part of our history, and a key to helping us understand the modern day. Alas, the stories have been handed down through generations. No one truly knows whether these accounts are grounded in reality or mere myths. Yet I stand here, surrounded by echoes of time. I can't help but believe in the tales. It's a connection to our roots, a bridge between the past and the present. Listen closely and let me share them with you. The ancient tales state of a celestial entity that floated through space in a meteor. The meteor landed in the world of Tenorium causing an explosion on the once desolated planet. Prior to the meteor, humans lived in a barren and bleak landscape. The explosion expanded life on the world, birthing with it the three elemental beings. The three elemental beings stay secluded from humans. They each lead independent lives, only protecting their elements. However, the humans become faced with external threats. Hearing of the rising threats, the celestial entity returns to Tenorio. Using its power, the entity creates the Defender of Chaos and the Defender of Order, each sworn to protect Tenorio, resulting in a short era of peace. However, tensions begin to grow. The ancient society begins to split in half dividing into two factions. Anarchists who opposed authority followed the Defender of Chaos, and those who sought law followed the Defender of Order. Eventually, the conflict breaks into a full-fledged war. The defenders were forced to battle each other, creating a huge fight that shook Tenorio to its core.
hearing of the rising threats, the celestial entity returns to Tenorio for the final time. The entity crafted unique stones with powers, opposing the defenders, bestowing them upon ordinary people. The stones grant the people's Tenorians with previously unprecedented strength and power. The people waged an all-out war against the defenders. Tenorio stood one last chance. Wow, Stefan. I had no idea Tenorio's past was so intense. Yeah, even if some people refuse to believe it, the struggle between chaos and order was a huge part of Tenorio's history. It helped shape the modern world. But what about the celestial entity and the elemental beings? Are they still in Tenorio? The celestial entity left a long time ago, but its essence still lingers in the stones scattered across Tenorio. Every now and then, people will claim they spotted one of the elemental beings. We're still not sure where in Tarnation the Defenders disappeared to. Unfortunately, that's all there is to know about this specific exhibit. Feel free to explore the museum, though. Many artifacts and writings hold secrets waiting to be discovered. Oh, that was actually kind of interesting, man. I like it. Ooh. Yeah, I like in the story of this game, but now we have to traverse your way to Route 4. Right, so... We've done a lot this episode. I think it's probably a great time to uh, probably end this part off. Let me know what you guys think of this game so far. Like, I've got to say, I'm really surprised how you know how much I quite like this. But yeah, next episode we'll go down Route Four, make our way to the next town. I guess maybe we'll end up getting our like first gym medal as well next time. But yeah, next episode we'll traverse our way to Route Four and see what happens. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.